then call Allah by his name, Ar-Rahim. And maybe it's some other struggle. Maybe it's some other issue that you're dealing with. Call Allah by the names that you call, that they're meant to be called when you're struggling with something, right? We learn, رَبَّنَا آمَنَّا فَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَرُحَمْنَا وَأَنْتَ خَيْرُ الرَّاحِمِينَ Feel free to take pictures of this, to have this, we're recording this, inshallah ta'ala. But there's so many du'as that are beautiful that capture the different names of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is one that we're taught um, because it comes directly in the Qur'an. Oh, our Lord, we have believed, so forgive us. Have mercy on us. You are the best of those who are merciful. When you call Allah by His names, it doesn't matter how sinful you feel. It doesn't matter how many times you feel like you've messed up and you have this issue that just does not seem to be getting better. He's capable of changing everything and anything. Never, ever, ever downplay the power of dua. Do everything you possibly can. And we go through things. One, two, three. These are options, you know, things you can do. But never downplay the, op the, the power of dua when you think you've tried everything you can possibly try. And so even when you feel like a person, you're going to give up on them, don't, because Allah doesn't give up on us. Even if you've given up on yourself about something, don't, because Ar-Rahim has not given up on you. Right? And even if you feel like your sins are mountains, there is nothing mountainous to Allah Azza wa Jal. Do you see what I'm saying? Calling him by his names helps remove these blocks that we sometimes impose onto ourselves that he, Azza wa Jal, hasn't imposed onto us. He didn't put that. We put it on ourselves. 